Hi, it's Katrina. Do you know how old the oldest mummy in the world is? It's much older than you think. From grisly human sacrifices to the oldest mummy ever found, here are 10 of the most amazing archaeological discoveries. Number 10. Mass Sacrifice Near the coastal town of Juan Chaco in Peru, archaeologists made quite a grisly discovery. They were uncovering a site that once belonged to the Chimu people, one of the most powerful civilizations in the area. Excavations revealed a child skeleton, then another, then another. Everywhere they dug, there was another skeleton. In total, archaeologists found 227 victims between the ages of 5 and 14 years old, and there are more that might still be uncovered. Around 500 years ago, these children were likely sacrificed in some kind of ritual. According to the BBC, this disturbing discovery came less than a year after two other archaeological sites in the country were found to contain the bodies of another 200 young victims of human sacrifice. Archaeologists reported that some of the bodies they found were so well preserved they still had their hair and skin when they were dug out of the ground. The children were buried facing the ocean, suggesting they had been sacrificed to appease the gods. The Chimu resided all along the northern coast of Peru and were one of the most powerful civilizations of their time, reaching their peak between 1200 and 1400, just before they were conquered by the Inca, who were then almost immediately conquered by Spanish invaders. The Chimu people worshipped a moon god, which they believed was more powerful than even the sun, which is different from the Inca belief that the sun was the most powerful god. But just like many other South American cultures, the Chimu often practiced mass sacrifice as a way to appease their natural gods such as the moon, sun, and sea. Number 9. The Mysterious Royal Tomb Archaeologists are very excited about a historical site in Turkey that has revealed a mysterious royal tomb and some massive stone gates. Brian Rose and his archaeological team in Gordion began excavations hoping to find the remains of a king. What they found instead was quite the surprise. When they opened the tomb, they discovered a young woman who had died in her 20s, along with an 8-year-old child and a collection of over 600 amber beads. These probably came to Turkey from over 1,500 miles away. As for the site of Gordian itself, it includes nine settlements and has over 4,000 years of ancient history. It was once the capital of the kingdom of Phrygia. This ancient kingdom might not sound familiar, but you have probably at least heard of one of its kings, King Midas the one with the golden touch. Gordion is famous for its monumental citadel mound that's about 55 feet tall and lies in the middle of the ancient city that was once surrounded by stone and mud brick fortifications. Excavations have been going on here for about 75 years, but there is still much more to be uncovered. Number 8. The Pyramids of Sudan Located along the east bank of the Nile River, 150 miles from the capital of Sudan, there are about 200 pyramids significantly more than what you would find outside of Cairo in Egypt. However, the ancient pyramids discovered here are mostly in ruins, being swallowed by the desert and ignored by archaeologists and tourists. They were constructed by the rulers of the Kushite kingdoms when this area of the Nile Valley was called Nubia. The first capital was built at Kerma in 2500 BC, and the pyramids here were inspired by the Egyptian pyramids. The Nubian kings built their own pyramids several thousand years later, with the first being constructed in 700 BC. The Nubian pyramids are smaller, painted black, and much pointier. But there are still twice as many Nubian pyramids standing today as there are Egyptian pyramids. The Nubian pyramids were discovered by foreign explorers in the early 1800s. An Italian treasure hunter named Giuseppe Ferlini showed up in the 1830s and demolished 40 of the pyramids at Moreau searching for treasure. And he found it, too hordes of jewelry, gold, and silver. More pyramids were discovered throughout the early 1900s by archaeologists, and some of the newest pyramids were found during excavations between 2009 and 2012 near a village named Sedenga. There were 80 pyramids here total, built in the first century BC, but who knows if there are others waiting to be found. Number 7. Man's Best Friend Archaeologists have recently discovered the first image ever created of dogs being friends with humans in the Arabian desert. It is a cave painting that shows a hunter drawing his bow while surrounded by a pack of dogs. Some of the canines even appear to have leashes tied to the man's belt. What makes this really fascinating is that according to Science Magazine, 
the image was made over 8,000 years ago. This would suggest that humans figured out how to train and control dogs thousands of years before previously thought. Melinda Zeder with the Smithsonian Institution National Museum of Natural History has said that the cave drawing is the only indication that we currently have that early humans really did use dogs to hunt. Of course, more research will need to be done to prove the theory, but right now it looks like humans and dogs have been friends for much longer than anyone could have imagined. Do you have a close bond with your dog? What kind of dog do you have? Let me know in the comments below. And now for number six. But first, wanted to give a big shout out to Francisco Costa and Cuchi N. Thanks so much for supporting Origins Explained. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here and join the family. Number six, the Temple of Zeus. New archeological discoveries in Syria have unveiled secrets about an ancient temple dedicated to the god Zeus. Excavations in Kanawat were done with the help of the Sueda Antiquities Department, who picked apart the ancient temple to find small rooms doorways, and a curious water channel that brought water flowing through the building. So far, only the eastern part of the temple has been fully excavated, so there could still be more impressive relics just waiting to be discovered. The Temple of Zeus was originally built by the Greeks and dates back to the 1st century BC. Kanawat was known as Kanatha by the ancient Romans, and it was a member of the Decapolis League of Trading Cities. At the time, it was extremely wealthy and powerful, demonstrated by the abundance of ruins here. The Temple of Zeus was just one building inside a great city of temples and megastructures. There is also a temple nearby built in the 2nd century dedicated to the sun god Helios. These were both impressive monuments back in their day, but are currently nothing more than a few stones and a handful of crumbling columns. The city thrived until the Muslim Arab conquest, then it began to disintegrate and today it is now considered a poor village. Students and the local Department of Antiquities are hoping to uncover more before everything is destroyed. Number 5. Mysterious Jade Figure A mysterious jade cylinder was recently recovered from a cemetery that has archaeologists baffled. The cemetery was built for elite members of an ancient Neolithic society that flourished in China during the 3rd century BC. The spectacular jade relic may hold the secrets of one of the earliest societies to ever live in China. It depicts some kind of humanoid figure with an elaborate headdress riding on the back of a horrifying monster with claws and bulging eyes. The identity of the humanoid is currently unknown, and nobody can quite figure out what kind of monster it is. It could be a shaman or a god, or he could be riding some kind of early rendition of a dragon. The jade artifact is currently sitting in the Zhejiang Provincial Museum. It was found at the site of Langzhou and predates the earliest known Chinese dynasty of the Shang who ruled during the Bronze Age in the 2nd century. Judging by this artifact and other pieces found here, including ceremonial axes and wine vessels, archaeologists are convinced that whoever crafted these artifacts prospered at least 1,700 years before the Shang Dynasty and were far more sophisticated. And yet there is almost no trace of them remaining. Archaeologists found proof of huge rice paddies, old fortifications, and a system of earth walls and moats. But other than the strange artifacts depicting even stranger monsters and humanoids, they really left no clues behind as to who they were or what they believed in. Number 4. Ancient Graffiti There is an ancient settlement in India called Kiladi. A recent discovery could just change history by revealing that this settlement might be 300 years older than previously thought. Experts have found a unique script inside the settlement dating back to the 6th century BC. To understand why this is important, it's critical to know that after the first ever urban society in India declined, known as the Indus Valley Civilization, it's generally believed that the second wave of urbanization occurred in the Gangetic Plains. But with the revelation of this new script, the second wave of urbanization, which eventually led to the prosperous societies of the Indian subcontinent, started in Kiladi. The old dates don't align anymore. Organic material on six samples were sent to a lab in Florida, which then used accelerometer mass spectrometry to date the deposits between the 6th century BC and the 1st century AD. Archaeologists identified 56 pottery shards with markings thought to resemble the Tamil Brahmi script, a precursor for the Tamil script used in India today. They also found hundreds of graffiti markings and symbols that look like the evolution of the Tamil Brahmi script all of which proves that the script is older than commonly believed. 
Ancient graffiti is changing history. Archaeologists also discovered ornaments of gold, gems, agricultural activity, walls made of brick, and houses with surprisingly advanced designs. The evidence shows an extremely early culture that survived on the barter system without money. Basically, ancient Kiladi had been in the pre-stages of society and is one of the first to be prosperous in India. Number 3. The Oldest Mummy While mummies might make you think of ancient Egypt and pharaohs, the earliest examples of artificial mummification did not come from Egypt, but the ancient Chinchorro culture that lived at the very edge of the Atacama Desert between Peru and Chile. These people lived here for around 6,000 years. They began mummifying their dead sometime around 7020 BC. They figured out how to do it naturally, using the dry and arid conditions of their desert, the driest place on earth, to preserve their dead. It would take them around 2,000 years to begin artificially mummifying corpses. According to Guinness World Records, the earliest known Chinchorro mummy modified using artificial means is that of a child that was discovered inside the Camarones Valley and was mummified back in 5050 BC. Over the next 3,500 years, these people evolved their mummification process in some very unique ways before ultimately giving up the practice in the first century BC. So how did the South American mummies differ from the Egyptian mummies? These people would remove the skin of the corpse and then take out the muscles and organs so that just the skeleton was left. They would then rebuild the corpse using wood and plants before ultimately sewing on a layer of clay skin and then adding a layer of ash paste. They would also cover the head of the mummy with a special clay helmet. In this way, they managed to preserve much of the body using natural materials. To give you a bit of a comparison on the oldest mummies in the world, the oldest Egyptian mummy only dates back to 3000 BC. That's about 4000 years later than the Chinchorro culture. Number 2. Ancient Fingerprints a mysterious set of ancient fingerprints were just found at an archaeological site in the United Arab Emirates. Dating back 3,000 years, archaeologists discovered the mysterious prints fossilized in some bricks. Located at the Hili II archaeological site in Abu Dhabi, and according to Abu Dhabi's Department of Culture and Tourism, the fingerprints could explain how the ancient people in the area advanced their construction techniques. Ancient craftsmen apparently used their hands to make special indentations in mud bricks that they would pour mortar into, which helped walls stay together and be stronger. These fingerprints are direct proof of these construction techniques. But mysterious fingerprints weren't the only things discovered here. This ancient site is famous for having one of the most sophisticated irrigation systems of the Old World. The system dates back to the Iron Age and is a testament to how cultures of the Arab world transitioned from hunting and gathering to a stabilized culture with more modern technology. Looks like people have loved leaving their handprints and fingerprints in mud and cement since practically the beginning of time. Number 1. 19th Century Shipwreck Construction workers in Boston recently discovered the remains of a shipwreck in the Seaport District completely by accident. Who knew that construction workers found so many cool objects? The construction company, Skanska, was under no obligation to report the find, but contacted state and local officials just in case. That was nice! Joe Bagley, a local Boston archaeologist who was called to the scene, determined that the vessel was probably from the 19th century, definitely before 1880. Construction was put on hold, and Bagley and his team tried to work as quickly as possible to document the findings so the work could continue. Unfortunately, the ship proved way too huge and too fragile to be moved, but they were extremely happy to be able to document it. What they found was that the ship had run aground, and there had likely been a fire on board. Archaeologists think the ship could have been on fire as it was sinking. But how had the ship remained undetected for all those years? Those studying it believe that the ship had probably run aground. No one in the area had cared enough to take it apart, and it was eventually used to help fill in the shoreline of Boston, turning the mudflats into buildable land. It's extremely rare to find a shipwreck in an area that's been filled in, but researchers were able to get the entire blueprint of the ship. The team found barrels inside of the shipwreck that looked like they contained lime, the construction material, not the citrus, and that it may have been brought to Boston for mixing concrete and to make paper. Other than that, not much is known about what the ship had been used for. Archaeologists documented the wreck as best they could, building a 3D image of the ship. However, that hasn't helped them to discover the truth about what happened to the crew, what the rest of the cargo may have been, 
or what caused the ship to catch fire and crash into the shore. Archaeologist Bagley commended Skanska for understanding the significance of the wreck to the people and city of Boston and delaying their project to allow the ship to be documented. Thanks for watching! Which discovery did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!